All right. See who it is. Hello. Super late yeah, at night. Uh, is this a veto? Who's asking? Name's Leon. I'm the bartender at the Lone Star. I'm ringing you because Joe Barbaro gave me your number. Says he's a friend of yours. Yeah. What about him? Well, old Joe been guzzling my top shelf hooch all night long, dribbling on about some cat named Marty, and now he done just gone plain salty on me. What the hell are you talking about? Your friend is out of control, man. He all waving his gun around and shit, and we can't talk no sense to him. <sighs> Great. Now look, I ain't looking for no trouble with you fellas. Could you please come pick his drunk ass up before he shoots somebody or somebody calls the police? Veto, you got to come on down here and pick his ass up. You coming or not? All right, I'll be right there. And hey... Don't give him any more booze till I get there. I'ma try, but your friend, he ain't gonna be down with that. You dig? Hey, if you don't cut him off right now, I'm gonna cut you off when I get there. Got it? All right, man, all right. Just hurry. All right, how many people are in the bar right now? Just me now. Joint was jumping about an hour ago, but now everybody done gone and split. All right, listen. Lock the place up till I get there. I'll be there in a minute. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> I love that guy. Veto. <laughs> okay. Oh shit, no. Uh. I don't need to dress all fancy or anything, so. Uh, where the fuck is? There it is, Jesus. All right. Okay, so I guess we gotta go to Joe's. Or not Joe's, um... Uh, Lone Star. Which is where we had our first job. Fuck it, I'll drive this one. <laughs> It's not that far either. All right. Yep, just... Yeah, right over here. Okay. Yep. Looks like he closed it. Kind of. Oh, Vito, you All here? Right. Where is Vito. he? Vito. Over in the corner there. Now look, I tried to cut him off, but the motherfucker was gonna air my ass out if I did. Uh, Okay, lock that door, and just give me a minute with him. Had a couple, huh? How you feeling? Vito, about time you showed up. Everybody went home already. Gee, Joe, I wonder why. Oh. Heh, <laughs> right. You drive here? Nah, I took a cab. I wouldn't park my car in this neighborhood. All right, finish your drink and let's go. You fellas about to oh, leave? Marty. I'll let you out. Here's to you, kid. You went out like a man. Shit, now where'd I put my keys? I'm so <clears> sorry, <throat> kid. This never should have happened. Never should have happened. Oh, Jesus! Ah, shit. Oh, I forgot he shoots you him. You be kidding me. What the fuck is wrong with you? I was just... You were just what? Shut your fucking mouth and get your drunk ass outside. All right, all right, I'm gone. He shot the only likable person that I liked in this game. Are you serious? Now we got it. Oh, I'm dr- okay. 
I'm sorry, dude. You, you seem nice and pretty cool. Now I gotta drag you. Drag you outside. There we go. What the hell are we going to do now? These are strong gates. Fuck. And the police are on my ass? Oh my god. Okay, we're good. He's not gonna say anything. Where the hell are we going? Okay, going to Joe's, okay. Just checking. Guess I didn't really say anything, I'll see you guys in a bit. Yep, he legit said nothing this whole time, so that was cool. All right, we're here. Try not to shoot anybody on the way to the front door, huh? Thanks, Vito. And hey, I'm sorry about... Look, just call me tomorrow, okay? Dump the body, be discreet. Okay. Be discreet. Okay. So we're taking it to his junkyard, okay. Oh yeah, where you crush cars and shit. Yeah, I got it. Okay. All right. We're getting there. I can't. The only likable guy in this whole. In this whole ass game. And he shot him. I totally forgot that happens. As I said, it's been years since I played this, so I really could not remember how that happened. Alright. Can't open it. Okay, I was just checking. <laughs> See if I could open it. Well, I did get some money out of this, so whatever. Oh, shit. What a day. I should go home now. Well, I got a car. That's kind of cool. There you go. Alright. Guess we're heading home now. This is a pretty short mission. Nothing interesting happens and the chapter will end, but, um... If there is, I'll put it in. But, uh, yeah. See you guys in a bit. Alright. Well, absolutely nothing happened, so I guess it's the end of the chapter, I think, or it'll continue on, I'm not sure. Yeah, that was one, okay. <laughs> A friend of ours.
Who the hell is that? Is that our friend? Can I answer? Nope, gotta get dressed. Uh... There we go. Wear some nice clothes. Hey, Beto. Long time no see. Sure. Long time. What do you want, Henry? A drink. Let's take my car. All right. Am I driving? Okay, I'm assuming I'm driving. Well, I guess you know Clemente's dead, along with everybody else. Listen, Vito, I know Falcone had something to do with this. And I'm worried that he's gonna want to take out what's left of the family. And I should care about this, why? Well, yeah, look, about you going away. I'm sorry for what Clemente did to you, but he got what was coming to him, right? I don't give a rat's ass about that old bastard. Matter of fact, I work for Falcone just the same. You saying you want to join up with us? Yeah, and since you work for him, I thought uh, maybe you think you could put in a good word for me. Yeah, sure. Me and Joe can vouch for you. Ah. Thanks, Fido. I owe you one. Okay. So, uh, how's life? Do you mean before or after half the guys I know got killed? That business at the hotel. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Got no idea what you're talking about. That's funny, because a buddy of Joe's got popped in the parking lot that day. So I just figured you'd two in on it. Buddy of Joe's? Who are you talking about? You know, that fucking kid used to come into Freddy's with Joe all the time. What's his name? Uh, Mikey, uh, Mickey, whatever the fuck his name was. You mean Marty? Yeah, yeah, that's the kid. Get a voice like fucking Minnie Mouse. Yeah, yeah, I heard about that. So you sure you weren't there that day? You're positive. Let's put it this way. Me and Joe were out taking care of something for our boss that day. That's all I'm gonna say. You know what? It don't matter anyway. But do me a favor, would you? Yeah, sure. What Next time, get a better disguise than a phony fucker mustache. I saw you two pricks from a mile away. You know what? Can we please not talk about this right now? <laughs> Wherever again? Don't worry about it. <laughs> do what you had to do. You ever get the feeling you'd be better off in a different line of work? To be honest with you, not really. This is what I am. What I'm good at. Yeah. And I guess it pays a hell of a lot better than being a fucking taxi driver. I was thinking about skipping town after that business at the hotel. But where am I gonna go? What am I gonna do? That's why I came to see you. So I was your last resort, huh? Thanks. Enough for nothing. How come you came to see me and not Joe? Look, uh, Joe's solid. But I wouldn't exactly want him speaking on my behalf. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Can't argue with you there. Yeah. We had to pick his drunk ass up last night, so that's... That's cool. Yeah, I'd want that guy to vouch for me. I'm on the curb. There we go. I thought I was still on the curb. They didn't really show a elevation or anything, so... I thought I was still... <laughs> On the curb for some reason. Anyways, enough talking about parking. Some silent music, let's go. Hey. Hey, Vito. You got that money for me? Always keep my word, don't I? Here you go. Don't spend it all in one place. Thanks. Where's Joe? Uh, he was here before, but then he left. Looked pissed off. Though lately, he always looks pissed off. Yeah, can you blame him? Listen, uh, I need to talk to you about something. Well, what, is it important? I'm busy with Vinci right now. He's planning to make a move on us, and we don't know how or why. I, I, I gotta sort this shit out. Yeah, well, I think it's worth hearing me out. All right, go ahead, but make it quick. All right, a guy I know who worked for Clemente called me. He's worried. He's not sure if we'll be going after the rest of Clemente's guys or not. Oh, that's good. As far as I know, the boss ain't planning nothing at this point, unless they try something stupid. Okay, well, this guy also asked me if he could come work for us. Yeah? Who is it? What, is he a friend of yours? I did a few jobs with him for Clemente. Really knows his shit. <sighs> okay, tell him to stop by. <sighs> well, uh, 
He's here right now. <laughs> he is? All right. Go get him, then. Eddie, this is Henry Tomasino. Henry, this is Eddie Scarpa. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Scarpa. Don't call me Mr. Scarpa. My friends call me Eddie. Now, take a seat, Henry. So, Vito tells me you want to join up with us. Yeah, I'm out of work right now. And I don't want to make a big deal out of what happened. Now, that's good thinking. Tell me something first, Henry. Were Clementi and Vinci planning anything against our organization? <sighs> okay. I usually keep my nose out of things like that. But I was with Luca Garino once at Leo Galanti's place, and Luca was going on and on about Falcone being involved in some dirty business and that something should be done about it. I think he was trying to turn Vinci against you. That bastard. I'll bet he was talking about drugs all the while he's dealing them himself. He knows that Vinci is totally against us. Yeah, probably fooled the old man good. So that's why he's planning to move on us. No, we gotta hit him first. Again? Hey, if we don't act, Frank will. First, we gotta get rid of Galante. Without him, Frank's fucked. Leo? I wanted to keep you out of it, but I didn't have anybody else who could pull off a job like this. Now I'm thinking this could be the perfect opportunity for Henry here to prove himself. What do you say, Henry? You up for it? If it means I'm in when the job's done, sure. Exactly. Take care of Leo. Now what about you, Vito? I'd feel a lot better if you went with Henry to make sure everything goes smooth. And I don't mean you gotta whack the guy. Just drive there, wait until it's done, and drive back. But if it don't feel right, I can ask somebody else instead. What do you say? Sorry, Eddie, I can't do this. Leo was like a father to me back in the can. Yeah, I understand. Well, it looks like you gotta take care of this yourself, Henry. You can hire some help if you want, but you gotta do this so nobody suspects it was us. Leo lives in Highbrook. Got it, don't worry. It'll be done today. Okay, you better get going in. See you later, Eddie. It's a good thing you brought him here. Even if he screws up, nobody'll know it was us. I don't think Henry's gonna screw it up. That's good. Well, Vito, I got nothing else for you today, but uh, drop by tomorrow, okay? Yeah. I'll see you later, Eddie. See ya. Three thousand dollars. Goodbye, Mr. Scaletta. Oh, we got it. Oh, we got to warn Leo. Oh, I'll have a car. I got a car now. Sorry, cops. Ain't got time for this shit. <laughs> hey, we gotta move quick. Dude, like... <laughs> this really sucks. I know... <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything. But it's really shitty that they would do that. Especially when it summoned him in, basically. But it's good that Vito was near to actually be able to warn him now, so that's pretty convenient. Also recording today, I was very scared because I saw that my um, my storage on my external hard drive was extremely low. Like it was at like 30, and it's not really enough. It's like it's enough for like a 20 minute video, but it's scary because you know it's always um, a little bit better to have like at least 100 gigabytes. So yeah, I got it to like 300 and I felt pretty, pretty good about recording today, so. Yeah, I might stop recording uh, for a while just to, you know, get everything figured out, get everything uploaded. How come I can't open, how come? 
I just... Fuck. 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 There we go. Oh, damn it. The time went out. I was like, am I supposed to open it? Like, what the fuck? Okay. If I have to restart all the way from the bar, I'm going to be so mad because that was right there. Please. 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 Fuck! All right. All right. I'm back. <laughs> Busting this bitch. What the? I'm getting sabotaged right now. I'm running out of fucking time. Why is it opening? It's not opening. The gates wouldn't open. I don't understand. The gates wouldn't fucking open. I bashed into that bitch. God, dude. Oh my god. Alright, I'm back here again. This is like record time, so I got plenty of time to figure out what the fuck's going on. It's not fucking opening. This bitch is not opening! Oh is there a back entrance? Back entrance? Somewhere? It looks like it. Oh my god, it's the back entrance, oh god. Get out, get the fuck out, get the fuck out. I can't even get inside! I think it's bugged. I think it's actually bugged, because I cannot get inside at all. I'm gonna restart the chapter. Yeah, I think that's the only fucking way I can actually continue because you've seen everything that I had to do. So yeah, I'm going to restart the chapter. So I will see you guys in a fat minute. Please, 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 please be the time, 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 be the time. Wait, hold on. <sighs> What is keeping me from opening this? Grenade. A grenade blows it up! Oh shit! Go, go, go! Go, go, go! No! I was right there! I was basically right there! All I do is open the door! I'm gonna explain what the fuck I did. So I restarted the game. Tried doing that. It still brought me to this point. Always and then I, well, I tried this first. Tried re restart, uh, or retry mission. Didn't work. Tried restart my game. And then continue story. Didn't work. Brings me back to this spot. I've tried literally everything. I didn't even think about throwing a grenade until right then and there. All right, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to make it in record time with this car. But yeah, uh, it's going to take me a while, so I'll see you guys in a bit again. Jesus. All right. Back here. Nade, throw it. What? What? There we go. There we go. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, I got plenty of time this time. Plenty of 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 time. Yes! <laughs> yes! Leo, you here? How the hell did you get in here? Get out of here. Oh, shove Leo, this Leo, put here. it away. It's me, Vito. Vito? What the hell are you doing here? 
You could have called Leo, there's no time to talk. You gotta get out of here. Quick, they're after you. What? Come upstairs, Vito. My feet are getting cold. You want a drink? Oh, I want a drink. What the fuck is wrong with Okay, you? so what's happening? Look, Falcone wants you dead. The guys are on their way. You gotta get out what? of here. Why the hell would I do that? Look, Falcone heard Vinci's planning to make a move on him because Clemente lied and said he was in the dope business. Lied? Vito, Carlo Falcone is in the dope business. Everybody knows that. Clemente tried to muscle his way into the business, so Falcone got rid of him. Now he wants to get rid of us, too, before we make a move on him. How do you know all this? I got my sources. Why did you come here again? Why? What, what are you getting senile on me? Because they're gonna kill you! Stop talking, for Christ's sake. Get dressed and let's go! Why don't we just get rid of whoever Carlos sent to whack me? We got the advantage. They don't know we're expecting them. I can't do that. I know the guy. I'm actually the one who got him the job. What? You hired your friend to whack me? No, not exactly. Look, I don't have time to explain. He's gonna be here any minute. Okay, wait here. I'll get dressed. Shit, too late. They're here. Oh, shit. Henry can't see me here. We gotta hide. Quick, before he comes up here. Oh, boy. Okay. We're not gonna get caught. We can get down to the backyard this way. Just need a rope or something. Go get some sheets from the laundry. From the laundry? The sheets. There we go. There we go. All right, here we go. Come on. Tight is tight. <clears throat> All right, go ahead, Leo. Damn it. Shh, Leo. I'm too old for this shit. I down with you. This guy don't kill me. You are crazy. I'm right behind you. Let's weird. go. Hurry the fuck up. He's right there. <laughs> Woo -hoo! So what are you going to do now? Well, first, let's get out of here. No arguments here. I've never completed it like this before. Fucking shit. Dude, I've never completed it like that before. Holy shit. I've always got caught. <laughs> okay, Vito. Now, get me over to the train station, if you wouldn't mind. This town's been good to me. Now it's time to say goodbye. You gonna go there in your PJs? Damn right I am. I'd rather be alive in my pajamas than dead in a three-piece suit. You, uh... There you go. Gonna tell Frank what happened? Sure I am. But don't worry, I ain't gonna mention your name. You're gonna have enough to worry about as it is. Thanks, Leo. You know, this whole thing got... complicated. Real fast, you know? Of course it did, Vito. What did you expect? You swear the oath, you put on a fancy suit, and then it's one big party? Carlo's always been a shady bastard. Even for guys in this business. I've been warning Frank about him for years. So what are you gonna do now? I'm gonna disappear. Let things run their course. I'm gonna take the first train to Lost Heaven. Make a few phone calls, settle my affairs. And then I'm gonna head for the airport, and I'm gonna go someplace warm. This time tomorrow, I'm gonna be sitting on a beach somewhere, sipping one of them fruity drinks with the umbrella in them. All right, here it is. Thanks for everything, Vito. Just promise me that you're never gonna be as stupid as you were today, risking your neck like this just to buy an old man a few more years. Enjoy your vacation, old man. All right. Yeah. And I'm not gonna say anything because that kind of spoils Mafia 3, but... Yeah, I've also played through it. Uh, I'm not going to release any of the original Mafia 3, but I'm going to play the Definitive Edition first, or at least upload it first. But yeah, there is some shit going on in that too with uh, Leo Galante, but I'm not going to say anything. Alright, so I guess we're going home now. <laughs> Got a nice car though. I'm actually probably gonna change some shit on it real quick. How's it going, sir? Just tell me what you need, sir. Okay, 
There we go. Color's fine. There you go. Pick a design. Those are fine. Everything's fine. Well, are you looking for a new set of wheels? Take your pick, pal. There we go. Looks nice, nice now. I appreciate the business. All right. Get the hell home now. Dude, this thing runs now. Whoa, okay. Alright. And we're home.